Rev up your engine! Here I got a classic 2003 RX 300, 141,000 miles. I paid five grand for it a while back. It's been a pretty good car. Now it's got a strange problem. The daylight running lights don't run and the high beams don't work. He tried the obvious, new bulbs, new relay, didn't fix it. So out with the computer. You got the old fancy computer. Move the seat back a bit and plug it in. Tight fit, huh? There it goes. It's the diagnostics. RX 300, 2003. And away we go. Now we're waiting for the scan. It's 69% done. Let's check the headlights. We turn the headlights on. We can see on off. They're working. They're shining off my silica. But when we go to the high beams, nothing's happening. Except when we do look on the dash, you'll see the high beam is coming on saying that you turn it on. That means the switch is working. It's sending power out. But for some reason, the high beams don't go on. Unfortunately, the scanner isn't going to help because the only faults it found was airbag, an ABS system. On these old things, those things often go out. But that has nothing to do with the lighting system. So this isn't going to help us at all. Now, when I'm trying to communicate with the lighting system, it keeps twirling, but it's not communicating. They can't communicate with the control unit. Generally, that means there's a computer module that's going bad. Now that can be very expensive stuff on a car like this. So let's check the obvious things first. The wiring, the fuses. We can see when I turn the lights on, the regular lights on, but when I push for the high beams, nothing happens. They stay on, the high beams don't work at all. So let's look under the hood. So we'll hook my test light up. Got a nice long lead. Now that's working. And we'll get a high beam bulb in here and pull it out. We'll test it for power and ground. One side. Well, the ground's working, it's green, but the power's not. There's no power. Now, I've ground and power I'll put to the bulb. As you can see, when I get power, the bulb works. Nothing wrong with the bulb. It's just not getting power. So the low beam works, but the high beam does because it's not getting power. So we're going to check all the fuses. Test it for continuity. So far, they all work. Now, those fuses were okay. And I got the headlight relay and I switched it with a fan relay. It's the same relay. Same thing, they don't work. So it's not the relay. Now, when you look inside, there's also a fuse box hiding in here. But I checked all of them and none of them are blown either. So now it's time to go to all data information systems. All data. We're going to look some stuff up on this. We do find we go to the all data wiring system. On the radiator, there is a daylight running light relay that also runs the high beams. We're going to have to check that. Here it is. Bunch of relays. And they're hot. Now we're going to swap one of the daylight running module relays with the relay for a fan just to see if it works. And voila! Now the high beams work. Turn them off. Turn them on. High beam, low beam. And you notice now the daylight running lamps are working too. When you shut the engine off, the daylight running lamp's going bad. This was the case of a bad relay. Just a stupid relay in here. I'd advise changing them all up. There's a lot of heat here next to the radiator. They'll just burn out over time. So there you have it. You got low beam, high beam, and daylight running lamps. And we got lucky here. It was just a stupid little relay. It wasn't a computer module. I guess it wouldn't read the computer module because when the relay's bad, it wasn't powering things up and it messed it up. Anytime you get bad relays, bad modules, they'll often feed back on each other and do strange things in electrical systems. But as you can see, Logic reigns supreme. We're lucky. Toyota Lexus products, they often have many relays that are the same exact relay. So you can take them out of one thing and put them in another. In this case, we did it work. So we know that's the problem. The next time your lights start acting up and you find the bulbs are okay, but they're not getting in power, start checking out the relay system first and realize they're all over the place. So you need an information system like all data that I use so you can find where the stupid things are. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.